Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I am bringing you these like emerald green looks. So I'm trying to do what you, you gotta hear me talk about today. I'm gonna do more wearable looks, right? That that's really all it is to it. We doing full B the full face, like foundation, concealer, contour, so whatever brow and eyes. Okay, so that's what we're doing now. So I'm gonna try to upload at least two days, well two times, maybe three at the week. So two of those videos would be a full face beat with eyes and then another one would be just eyes okay so that's what we're doing now we're trying to i'm trying to figure something out all right but yeah but if you want to see how i got this look then keep watching and don't forget to hit that notification button and the notification button and comment and subscribe and share and all of this stuff and i will see you in my next look all right but we're gonna start off with this two face all right x primer and I probably need to get some more of this. I don't know. Like, I have oily skin, but I don't like wearing matte products. I don't know why. I just don't. I don't like my face to look all matte and dry, though. That's the problem. That's why I don't like it. And then I mix it in with this NYX Studio Perfect Photo Loving Primer. It's a matte primer. So I just mix these two together. And I'm still using the Too Faced Foundation, the Born This Way, and I'm in the color Caramel. I still have yet to find any other foundation that I like. So now I'm just using the LA Girl Plus It's Pro Concealer in the color Expresso. I'm going to use the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. And then I do go back in with my foundation brush to clean everything up and then blend it into everything. Because cream contouring can get a little messy, but that's just if you use too much. But I still like to go over it just to get everything like perfect. Okay, so for concealer, I'm going to take both of the Born This Way foundations from Too Faced. The big one, this is the Super Coverage, it's in the color Sand, and then the small one I have is in the color More Medium. Okay. I love this concealer so much. Like, it took me forever to get it because I just did not want to spend $30 on concealer. But let me tell you, it is so worth it. I would definitely spend the coin for this because it's that good.
gonna go in with the Sasha Buttercup. I'm gonna take a little bit of this and put it under my eye. So after I'm done with that, okay, so the only thing I did was take the Morphe Brontour and I just set the contour areas, okay? So next, I'm just going in with LA Girl Pro Press Powders. One is in True Bronze, the other was in Warm Promo. I was going to set the rest of my face because I didn't, you know, that didn't set. Okay, so I already primed my eyes with the LA Girl Pro. This is not the Pro Concealer. This is their Pro Primer. And this is like the nude stick. Yeah, and this is in the color nude. And then I placed the Sasha Buttercup under my eyes to catch my fallout. First color I'm going to use is the Warrior Palette by Juvie's Place. And I'm just going in with that. I guess it's white. It's not white, but it's like cream. Almost pale color, whatever it is. I'm going to use it as a transition color. Okay, I was gonna place that all over my eye. So I had said this earlier. I had took a poll in my Instagram because I was trying to figure out why I'm not getting, you know, like interactions and views. Right. So I asked people would they like me to start doing more wearable looks, like trending looks that's going on throughout social media, the beauty industry, and stuff like that. Most people said yeah. It was like really ninety two percent said yeah. So that's what I'm going to start doing now. I'm going to start doing more, more wearable looks. So I'm going to go back into the Warrior palette and take that light brown. This is Caro or something like that. And then we're going to go into the Juvia's Place Afritique palette and take Cameroon, which is that dark brown. So I'm just going to mix those two colors together. So what did well y'all not gonna see this video until like probably Tuesday or Wednesday, but what did everybody buy during Black Friday and Cyber Monday? I got I got a couple of clothes from Room 21. You know what? The older I get, the more I hate buying clothes. I don't like getting dressed. I just want to be comfortable. I don't like wearing jeans anymore. Like I have thighs and legs, I need to breathe. So I can have a bunch of joggers and trousers. But I love that though, because I can dress it up and make it look real cute. Okay. And then I got some pigments from a place called Jalore Cosmetics. I got a couple of those. And of course, I got something from Juvia's Place, even though I didn't need to. 
And I got another one of their loose highlighters. And then I got the new highlighter that they released. I was like, I'm not going to buy no more highlighters. Got up on Saturday. Of course, their dubious place was. Or oh, was that Friday? I think it was Friday. They said, oh, we're going to release a new highlighter. I'm like, y'all the devil. The whole devil. Like, I don't need no more highlighters, but I bought one. I bought, I bought two, so whatever. <laughs> And then, let me see. I got the Color Rain Vivid Pigments palette. We're going to try that today. And, let me see. I think that's all I got, really. Yeah. Like, I really didn't get to. Okay, so let's take the Color Rain Vivid Pigments palette. And we're going to take Squad, which is that. I don't know what type of green it is, but it's green. Not the light green, but the dark green. Okay. So, I will. And if you hear like a fan or something going on in the background, it's my heater. It, it, it's cold, okay? It, it's cold, so I turn my heater on. Like the heat is on in the house, but I'm still cold. Yeah. Like I'm one of them people I get cold so easily. It could be like 80 some degrees outside, but if the house is cold and got the air on, I will turn my heater on. I don't care. Mm -mm. I don't like being cold. I get an attitude that way. Okay, so after I had built up the color a little bit more, I added some black just to make it a little more darker. So I'm going to cut my crease with the ColourPop and medium dark 30. So those, those shadows, like they blend, but you got to put a little bit more work into them. So it's going to take me a while to get used to it. But other than that, I like them though. They're okay. And I'm going to use the Morphe M421 brush to cut my crease. Okay, so for half of my lid, I'm going to take that champagne color right there in the middle of the shimmer. And then for the rest of the lid, I'm going to take Squad, which is their dark green.
Okay, so the highlight I'm going to take the Juvia's Place Loose Highlighter in Nefertiti. Okay, so I'm gonna take the NYX lip liner. This is not NYX. Okay, so I'm taking the MAC lip liner and Nevermore. This is with the Aaliyah collection. So I'm gonna take Wham instead. This is still color pop. Okay, and then also I'm going to take, what is this? I think it's called Vibranium or something like that. I'm not sure. 